It's a lot different. Uh, you know, I think the experience is everything at, at the quarterback position. I think um, you just got to progress. I mean, I, I told a couple reporters that um, as a quarterback, you, you need to, you, you want to get better from year to year. I think last year I, I performed and, and progressed as a quarterback from, from my first year starting, and, and this year is no different. I think th there are certain things that I want to improve on that my game needs to improve. Uh, and, and just putting putting the team in positions to succeed. I think uh, taking care of the football, you know, limiting turnovers. Those are all things that, um, you know, the, the the longer you play, the longer you're starting quarterback. The the more experience you have with, and the, and the better you can perform. In. It's uh, really surreal, honestly. I can look back. I can remember my first day here at, at Richmond and think to, to think the strides that we've made. It's it's pretty awesome. Uh, it's really a frisk or bust type mentality. Uh, we've made it to the second, you know, second round. We made it to the quarterfinals and semifinals. We got we got to go to Frisco this year. It's crazy to look back at you know some of my favorite games. You know some of the sold out crowds. You know, Coach Rocco coming back to Liberty is obviously one of the stands out. Jamie on college game day. It's it's been a fun ride, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Well, the one thing is when the new coaches come in, the the last thing you can do is is complain about it or talk about, oh, I wish, I wish we did it this way, wish we did it that way. The best thing that we can do as players to, to put ourselves in a position to win is adapt as quickly as we can, learn, learn the system that, that we have in front of us, and progress as players. And it's, like you said, it's different. It's different when you have uh, a new style of offense, new plays, new, new ways to call the same formation. It, it's a bit annoying. I mean, and it gets kind of, it gets grueling. I mean, you got to really study it. You really got to grind through it. But um, it's important if we want to win. Uh, like you said, come together as a team, embrace the change, and uh, and just kind of forget about the coaching changes and just and just do control what you can control, and and uh, and that's adapt and, and play as, as best you can. You know, a couple weeks ago we all went paintball and took the, took the team out paintball and a little team activity. We're around each other even more this year with the summer workouts being allowed by the NCAA. Uh, everybody got funded for summer. I mean, just just being around each other all the time has just made us a closer, closer knit group. Just, we, we all have the same mindset, same goal. Uh, everyone realizes what, what we have coming back, what we can, you know, achieve and how much we left on the table last year, even though it might have been through injury that we all just want to, you know, finally get, get to Frisco and win a national championship. I think a lot of confidence, um, a lot of excitement. Uh, I think I can't remember being this excited heading into a training camp before. Probably part of that is because of coming off the injury, just being eager to get back out there. But the guys are so ready. I mean, we had so many injuries last year and uh, all the guys understand what, what our potential is and, and uh, how well we can how well we can play. So just seeing it all and, and you know, uh, we had a lot of guys, we even had a lot of starters that couldn't participate in spring practice. So getting those guys back and just seeing what our team looks like as a whole healthy is really exciting as players and uh, we can't wait to get out there.